oops, sorry. Minus two terms combined. This is not differentiated, this is multiplication. You get dvz by dr square. Okay? And r here and r there are cancel out. So if you multiply the whole thing by mu over r, this r and this r cancel out. At the end, you have mu dvz by dr square. All right? So this term, I already wrote it. This term already done. This term is done. So we have three more terms. One, two, three. All of them have vz as a common. Common term, you have vc here, vc there, and vc there. I can take it out. All right? Let's start with this term. After you take vz out, the rest should be differentiation of pressure with respect to z. So now this term is done. Then, for this term, you multiply mu over r over here. All right? You get mu over r, d by dr, of r dvz by dr. And then the last term is rho g. Do you notice something? What is these three terms combined? I'm going to erase this for a moment. All right, before I clear with this term, let's start with this equation, okay? Do you know this equation? Yes, what is it? Equation of motion in z direction, okay? If I take these two terms to this side, okay? The rest would be dp by dz, dvc by dr, and rho g. These three terms circulated are these three terms, right? 
they are the same. So if you consider equation of motion, let's start by the first term. Vc is not function of time. This term is drop as zero. Vr is zero. V theta is zero. And Vc does not change with respect to z. This term is zero. Okay? Vc does not change with respect to zeta, it becomes zero. It does not change with respect to z, it's zero as well. This will be c squared. That means every term on the left hand side, after I move these two terms to that side as well, becomes zero. So therefore, the three terms that combine here are zero. Right? This is from equation of continuity, I'm sorry, of motion. You get three terms here combined to be zero. So we can drop terms a lot. We can drop a lot of terms. Now we have three terms left. One, two, three. Can you solve this? Equation? No, you cannot. As I said, if you cannot solve them, try to see which term can be dropped further. Can we drop this term? What does it mean? What does this term represent? Is CP times velocity means like convection in z direction, right? This is temperature change in z direction according to convection in z direction, which is important in our case. This term, what does it mean? You have k and change in t with respect to r. This is conduction. Conduction in r, also important. How about this term? That's viscous heat, okay? This term is viscous heat. <coughs> and I said earlier, unless you have extremely high velocity or extremely high viscosity, viscous heat can be neglect. So we have to neglect this term. All right? Now we have only two terms. From starting from six term, you can reduce into two terms. This Vz now is Vz max. One minus R over R squared Okay, so if you take this, combine them together, Again, can we change it to total differentiation? Can we? Can we say that this is total differentiation of temperature with respect to z? This side is function of z, this side is function of r, and therefore, if they are equal, supposed to be constant. Can we do that? No. Because temperature change with respect to, oops, sorry. Chain with respect to both R and Z. Okay? So therefore, it must be kept in partial differentiation form. Can we drop term further? No, you cannot. You have conduction in, Z, in R, convection in Z. That's it. You cannot drop it further. So can you solve this? No, again. So what, what could you do? 
suck it up, right? If this one is in examination, okay, at least for this part for, for energy transport, you need to stop here. The question would ask you to stop here, okay? Only thing that you can do further would be the list of boundary condition requires. How many boundary condition are needed to be solved, to, for this equation to be solved? How many boundary conditions? According to the form of equation here, how many boundary, boundary conditions are needed? You have one differentiation with respect to z. If you integrate it, you need one, one here, right? You have second order differentiation with respect to r. In order to integrate this, you need to integrate it twice. So two more boundary conditions with respect to R. So in total, you need three boundary conditions. One with respect to Z, two respect to R. What are they? So you need three boundary conditions. What are they? You need to, you know that one supposed to be indicated at C equal to something, the other two indicate at R equal to something. What is the first one? C equal to zero. At Z equal to zero, T is equal to T zero, all right? In order to, to derive or in order to express this, this one correctly, you need to indicate at z equal to zero at any r. Because every point on the same plane, on the top plane equal to z equal to zero, you get t equal to t zero always. Okay? For the attitude, one supposed to be at R equal to capital R, that's outside of the pipe, any Z. You have T equal to T1. All right, what else? What else do you have? At r equal to zero, what is boundary condition? T is equal to finite, any, any z, right? You may have t equal to finite or dt by dr equal to zero. Because temperature profile is supposed to have inflection point right in the center. 